What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be powder painting jig heads. I've got an assortment of jig heads right here as high as three ounces and as low as a quarter ounce. I'm going to be using Protec powder paint here. I have a pearl colored version because the swim shads are going to be using are pearl colored and I want the jig head color to match the swim shad color. I have a propane torch to heat up the jig head and what I'm going to be doing is dipping the heated jig head into the powder and the powder will melt and adhere to the jig head and it'll come out with a nice glossy finish. Now the smaller jig heads are going to take a lot less time under the flame than the larger ones. And if it's not quite hot enough, you can add a little more flame, and the flame will do the job itself. So there, you'll see it has a nice glossy finish to it. And I just stick a needle through the hole there, so you can thread your line. And there you have it. And I hang it up. So this size takes a little longer to heat up. Just going to dip it in. And there you go. It comes off with a nice pearly finish to it. Now lead has a really low melting point, so you got to be careful not to melt it. There we go. Put it on both sides. And there we go. Nice glossy finish on both sides. Now this is a three ounce one. This will probably take a little longer to heat up. All right, the three ounce jig should be just about hot enough. So let's dip it in. There we go. I'm gonna do this one two times just to even it out. There we go. And on this one, the hole remained open, so I don't even have to stick the needle through it. Now this one I found stuck to a rock in the surf on Montauk. I pulled it off and ripped what was left of the eel off of it. I'm going to try to repurpose this as a jig head for a swim shed. I was thinking about chiseling the paint off, but I think I'm just going to heat it up the way it is. Hopefully the paint doesn't burn. Lead has a pretty high thermal conductivity, so if I just heat up one part of the lead right at the mouth here, the rest of it should heat up pretty, pretty evenly. Okay, now I'm going to dip it. This one didn't come out quite as good. Probably should have taken the paint off of it first. Hopefully this sticks on. Now the next step is baking them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees and that should really reinforce the uh, process. Alright, so here's the finished product. First we have the 3 ounce one. Came out pretty nice. Nice and glossy, nice and smooth. The rest came out pretty much the same. Nicely done. This one, I, I heated it up a little too much so it dripped a little and then that hardened but I'll live with that. I don't think that'll affect anything. And then the eel here. Yeah, that didn't come out too good. You'll see it's not smooth or, or glossy at all. It kind of has this like sparkly rough finish to it. It's worth a try. Alright, so I'll try them out this year. Hopefully the paint holds up over time. And thanks for watching.